open female triangle footwork. Now that we've gone over our linear and lateral Pontotoucan footwork, we're going to start taking our angles with the open female triangle. So it's very important, Kali, to step on the angle, 45 degree angle. Uh, what it does, it helps us deflect attacks, take away pressure from our opponent's shots, and also give us an advantageous angle of attack on our counter strikes. Pontotoucan is no different. I'm going to start off in the apex of my triangle, the top of the triangle. I'm going to step 45 degrees and return. Step 45 degrees and return. Again, don't step across your body. That's the first beginner mistake. Do not do it unless you have the intention to do so. If I step to my right, I step with my right foot and my lead shoulder comes forward. Return back to the apex. Step with the left, towards the left. Lead with my rear shoulder. One and two. One and two. One and two. With your hands, you can either keep them in boxing position, one hand lower than the other. We call this false stance. Or you can put your hands in C-lot position, one hand near the shoulder, one hand at the hip. This is indicative of drawing your weapon. It's also proper body mechanics when you run. A little bit faster now. Of course, this point, the apex of the triangle is probably the most compromised position. You want to minimize that by doing a slight skip. Changing stances and changing directions. When you place your foot down, most of your weight is going to be on the area which is the ball of your foot. Make sure that your knee is over your toes, not pressed inward and not outward so you avoid knee damage. Slowly, one and two, quickly. One and two. This is our open female triangle footwork. The next footwork technique is the open male triangle. The apex will be in front of me and I'm going to be stepping back in 45 degrees back and 45 degrees one and two one and two beginner common mistake is to step straight back again uh, a lot of boxing coaches fight coaches will tell you don't take more than two steps back and this is no different we want you to step 45 degrees shift your weight to the back foot and then turn and lift up the heel on the lead foot. My shoulder is blocking my jawline. My rear hand is ready for defense. My left hand, my lead hand is protecting my ribs. In boxing, this is known as the shoulder roll. This is the defensive motion. Moving back and 45, shifting my weight and evading, allowing any punches or strikes to deflect off the shoulder. The next style of open male triangle footwork is the offensive. So instead of shifting the weight back, I bring the rear shoulder to the forward. One and two, one and two, one and two, rear shoulder comes forward, rear shoulder comes forward. This is indicative of me moving and striking at the same time. Could be throwing a cross punch, could be throwing an angle one hammer fist, angle two, it could be angle one and angle two from the other hand. You're going to feel this counterbalance, this crossed up motion with your body mechanics. So again, starting off with defensive male triangle footwork, shifting back to the 45.
and offensive. Rear shoulder comes forward. Okay, try them both, experiment a little and see what works best for you. This is our open male triangle footwork. I hope you enjoyed that clip of my channel, Sakan Lam. If you did, click that subscribe button so that you can stay in tune for any future notifications from our channel. Good luck in training.